Hi, I'm Rohit. I'm also. And we're doing real time detection of markers for human movement correction. So, uh, these are Aruko markers, which is based on an open CD module. Um, so, in front of the camera, the open CD module will be able to detect these markers and, and um, give coordinates in X and Y pixels for the top left corner. And each one of these has a unique ID so you can distinguish between the mm -hmm. markers. And so in the, if, if you were actually measuring human motion, then those would be attached to your arm or your body yes. or something. Yeah. We put it on a stick for testing, but in a real application, we would attach it to um, mm -hmm. key points in the body, usually joints, so the um, wrist, uh, elbow, and shoulder, okay. and arm movements. All right. Yeah. So what the system is actually doing is you can, um, we have a 3D stereo camera with a fisheye lens and you can essentially set, be, once you're in the correct frame, you can, you're able to detect markers. Um, the way we do this is, like Rohit said, we use OpenCV to do the marker detection and then create a right and left um, images that are then sent to the FPGA and the FPGA itself actually does the processing to provide feedback uh, for the system. It also pr uh, creates various forms of anaglyph images um, which then produce like the 3D effect as well. So, so when you, so the OpenCV is running so on the, the dual arm 9 yes. on the FPGA and then the the image display, the high speed image display and anaglyph production is on the hardware. Yep, and okay. then the feedback that we produce is also um, measured and calculated on the FPGA and then sent back to the uh, R9 processor in order to provide the text that you see here and also just to, um, yeah, to provide any other like textual feedback that we have. Okay, so show me the detection. So, do you want to get in the frame? So first we have, it calibrates for approximately 32 frames, so it's pretty quick. Um, and then you can kind of see that there's the three markers. It's sort of skewed because we're much closer to the camera, um, but it will tell you whether you should move up, down, or stay still in the position. Um, right now it's calculating the y, uh, y direction, so whether you should move up or down. Um, but it can also do things like measure depth as well. So if you want to move closer or further away from the camera. And then the output is just showing how many markers are actually detected and when they're detected. The no. Okay, so move, the, move the, the markers out of the frame now. And now we see no detection. Now move them back into the frame. And there we're detecting. And so that's the OpenCV report, right? Okay. And the marker needs to be detected in both the left and right to be um, processed. So, and we can see what, the, which camera it was detected in in the terminal output. Yeah. So, if there's a shift in like the marker, then the marker just won't be detected at all. Yeah. It must be in both like it must be in the frame of both the lenses. So the stereo effect is much clearer when you're further away from the camera. And so you, you can get, because it's stereo, you get not only X and Y, you can get depth, right? Yes, so we did try measuring depth as well, um, and it works very similarly to the Y direction. Uh, the Y direction for um, certain like arm gestures, like up and down, is more useful, which is why we're, that's what we're demoing with. But for depth, for example, um, if you move it closer or further away, it provides the same feedback. And to get depth, we use the X coordinate for the left and right image because depth is inversely proportional to the disparity, which is the difference in X and Y between mm -hmm. left and right. So you use OpenCV to uniquely get a X coordinate for each tag, yeah. and then that gives you the reference to calculate the depth. Yeah, so we get Very the cool. X and Y coordinates for like the four corners. There's a reference corner on each marker. And then that reference corner is then used to measure the depth. Okay. And also to make sure that the like the uh, marker itself is in both frames. Okay.